Welcome to another Tech Stuff Tuesday. This week, I'm gonna cover why your digital multimeter might suck. I'm going to uh, go over the three different ways that you would typically use a DMM in a car audio application, being DC voltage, AC voltage, and impedance. I'm gonna show you a few different meters and show you why one is better than another, why you shouldn't trust one, and if yours is one of the ones that sucks. So, first off, we're going to do the DC voltage test. So I've got a Fluke 75 that we're gonna to set to DC voltage. I have no idea how old this meter is. I inherited it, uh, but it, it, it is pretty old. Uh, we have positive here and negative there. So this is our power and our ground. We're gonna check voltage. And we have 14.31 volts. Fluke is generally kind of the standard, as some people put it. So you would expect that that would be the most accurate. Next up, we have an Amprobe that is also a current clamp. And this one we have 14.32 volts. So right in line with the Fluke. Next, we have a Blue Point. This I purchased brand new about 18 years ago. And we'll set that to DC voltage. 14.34, 14.33. So again, these three meters together read very, very, very close. And that's good because all those meters have some age on it. The Amprobe is uh, like maybe five years old. The others are quite a bit older. So this one is a Centec. This is a freebie from Harbor Freight if you get their catalog. If not, they're like $6. So we're gonna compare how good this is to the other ones on testing DC voltage. 14.37. So on voltage, this is reading a little bit high, but it's not completely out of line. Next up, we will check impedance. So now, looking at impedance, I have got one of our 4 ohm SWAG 6.5 inch coaxials. Six, or 4 ohm is going to be a nominal number. It should read a little bit different than that. Uh, could be 3.4 all the way up to 4.0, maybe even 4.1. But we're gonna first check with the fluke, as that is the standard. And we are reading 3.2, 3.3 ohms on this one. Next we'll have the Amprobe. and impedance is going to be the ohm symbol, omega, right there. This one is reading, give you a connection, 3.4, uh, if I move it around a little bit, I'll get a little bit more, but we're at the 3.3, 3.4 the same as the fluke on the blue point. These are available from Snap-on, if you're wondering what that brand was. It's more like a generic Snap-on, so it only costs half as much to do the same thing. Now this one does not read to the hundredth. So we're getting three ohms is all that we can tell on this one. So it is not as specific, but it does read three ohms. If you are just trying to be vague about it, see if anything is blown or not. And this one, uh, the Centec, we have set to 200 ohms. There are various on the scale. It's not auto ranging like the others. It's untangled. And this is reading 5.0, now 4.9, 4.8. So 
impedance is very, very far off. We had three other meters that all read the same. This one is way, way, way off. Uh, over one ohm off, actually. Uh, we're looking at like 1.4 ohms high. So that's not exactly effective if you're trying to read anything. So next we will go to AC voltage. So now with AC voltage, why would you use AC voltage? Well, the RCA output is AC voltage and the amplifier output is AC voltage. So if you're trying to set the gain using this method, uh, which is not exactly, it's a ballpark thing, but not exactly what I recommend, but if you are using that method, or you just wanna know the actual output voltage, that's where you would use this. So of course you want it accurate. So we wanna set to AC voltage, which is the single squiggle line there with the voltage. And we're gonna start with the fluke again. And we're getting 21.7, 21.68. So this track has a little bit of variation in it, but about 21.7, 21.6. And we'll try the Amprobe. This one is auto ranging. So we only set it to voltage. This one is reading slightly higher, 21.95. And this one is a true RMS, uh, which is why there was no variation, like on the fluke. On the blue point, we will set this to 200 volts. That is the lowest on the scale. So there we see twenty one point eight, twenty one point nine, a little bit of fluctuation in, in that. And then we have the Centec, which we're gonna have to set to two hundred volts AC on this one. This one actually says ACV. And we're getting 21.4, 21.6 in that neighborhood. So this one is reading different on AC voltage as well. Three of the meters read very close on impedance and AC voltage and DC voltage. The Centec here did not. Very, very different on impedance, uh, lower on AC voltage. DC voltage was about the same. So I'm going to show you why and how you can tell if it's going to be inaccurate and explain why. We'll turn this on. We'll put it on the lowest impedance, which is 200 ohms. We're going to touch these leads together. And as you can see, we're reading 3.5, 2.6, 1.8, 1.7, so stabilizing now. That is the number of ohms between these leads and the resistance on this and then internal. Anything is happening between the calculation of these leads. So that is a very large problem. That's why impedance reads wrong. That's why voltage reads wrong. It's, there's additional resistance in the line. So. We know that's a problem. So for a perfect example, let's go to impedance on the amprobe where we touch these together and it reads 0, 0.0. There is absolutely no resistance in this. It's either calibrated out or however it is that they're doing on this meter reads 0, 0.0. So we know this one is going to be accurate. We can do that with all of these other meters and the same thing is going to happen all zeros and then lastly on the fluke we have a very very small amount 0.1 ohms nope and when it went all zeros 
So all of these will read all zeros. This one has additional resistance in the leads. That's why these cheap meters are not accurate. If you're just doing DC voltage, you want to get a pretty close idea. See if you have power, you don't have power, that's fine. AC voltage, if you're trying to match two amplifiers or something like that, you can use it from one to the other. And that's fine because it's the same meter giving you the same number. If you want to be accurate on the AC voltage, it may not be so accurate. In terms of impedance, never use one of these for impedance. These and the Craftsman are also very, very bad. So these freebies, if you want to just check continuity and make sure that the coil is good, you're okay. If you want to be accurate on a coil, do not use one of these. Don't call a manufacturer and say, my coils are messed up, you sent them to me messed up, straight out of the box because you check them for whatever reason you check them straight out of the box. Do not call them and complain. The problem is your meter. Get a good meter. Doesn't have to be a fluke. Doesn't have to be one of these expensive ones. All of these meters, I think the blue point might have been around sixty or eighty dollars. Again, this was you know, almost twenty years ago. The Ampro, uh, I think, is about one hundred and fifty bucks. These flukes, I think, are around one hundred fifty or two hundred bucks. But you don't have to. You can get one that's okay, just not one of these freebies or five dollar, ten dollar ones. Spend some money, get a good meter. That's the only way you can be accurate with that. If you like this video, hit the subscribe button. If you're not already subscribed, give us a thumbs up. Comment below any other suggestions for future videos, anything you'd like to see. Hit the notification bell so you get notified when we put up a new video every Tuesday. And I will see you next Tuesday.